I'm listening to Ralph, and because I'm at AEI, where we have lots of CEOs and people on the board, I, I, I know a lot of these guys, and, and I, I talk to them in settings where I think that they're being very honest. <laughs> and the way they see what they are doing and the way they see the world and your view are so completely divergent <laughs> that you're describing a world which they genuinely would say in their deepest heart of heart, what is this guy smoking? Uh, in, in the sense of, of, of they see themselves not as controlling all of these hidden levers and so forth, they see themselves as besieged. Uh, they see themselves struggling to, uh, struggling to deal with a government which is making it harder and harder for them to deliver goods and services to people that people want. <coughs> so, so uh, with, you know, there are some kinds of, of uh, agreeings to disagree uh, of different magnitudes, and I think Ralph and I should just say we're both from different planets. And, and you, want uh, we'll you want me to disprove it? Watch how, where you agree. Do you think we should get rid of corporate welfare? Absolutely. Crony capitalism? Absolutely. No more bailouts? Absolutely. Should we get rid of elements in the Patriot Act? The, the yeah, comprise yeah. of civil liberties? Yeah. Uh, should we stop uh, wars of aggression overseas and become an empire? Yep. Okay. Should we knock out some of the bloated military budget that consumes half of the U.S. government's yep. operating expenses? You're from the same planet, obviously. Right? <laughs> <laughs> now, now can I... No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no. Okay, now, now watch the con continuation here. Do you object, apart from how to do anything about it, Charles, do you object to the commercialization of childhood, undermining and bypassing parental authority yep, with, with violent that. programming? And right? Yep, I agree with that. Too. Okay, that's a big one right there. Mm -hmm. uh, would, you, would, but, you, but would you object to the lead industry that tried to block Pittsburgh professor Herbert Needleman from continuing and publicizing his research on the connection of lead contamination of infants, especially in poor tenements, I have which any led idea to what brain the damage. On that. I, lead I, brain damage. I, no, no, I have no idea what that particular case is. Or how about this one? <laughs> Do you object to tobacco companies marketing to small children, trying to hook them at an early age, as they did for many years? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Lifetime of smoking, right? Uh huh. And everything you have said okay. so far is consistent with a libertarian position. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, we may disagree on the remedies, but we're not in different worlds. Your CEO, I have never met a CEO ever said, I have a lot of power. Oh, these poor people. They have so little power that they're shaping an $800 million no. military budget. They're so po no. powerless that they've reshaped the food habits of millions of kids who are now obese, high sugar, fat. You know, Ralph, teach them how to nag their okay, parents. Let me, let me, Ralph and Charles, we've got let's, a couple of other planetary uh, emissaries let's, let's, here. Let's, just and one, like one real quick thing. Re this will not take long. Here is the difference. Yeah. Here is the difference. <laughs> uh, Sony Corporation or <coughs> Apple or Exxon Mobil, for that matter, if I choose not to buy Exxon Mobil gas or if I choose not to buy a Sony TV, they cannot come to my door, take me away in handcuffs, and lock me up. If I refuse to do something that the federal government says I have to do, something which is no more criminal than <coughs> refusing to buy a Sony TV, the government in its infinite wisdom can come to my door, take me away in handcuffs, and lock me up. Unless that is the difference between government power and corporate power, and that difference is a difference of power in kind, which makes everything else pale in comparison.